All right, man. Let the people know who we got on Futures TV right now, man. Um, it's your boy Tony Ray, man. Live and direct, Raleigh, North Carolina, South Side. You know how we do it, man. Okay. So let the people know about your involvement in the Raleigh music scene. My involvement in the Raleigh music scene, well, I mean, where do I start? I mean, really, uh, you know, I started, let me just start from the beginning. Um, I started promoting maybe 2013. Uh, Brian Dawson, shout out to Brian Dawson. He kind of, he took me under his wing and, um, you know, he kind of just showed me the ropes of kind of how the, you know, the whole promoting thing works. And so, about 2014 is when I started tapping into my own element and started doing my own thing. And, uh, you know, uh, you know what Brian always told me was, you know, your followers are money. So, I know a lot of people, Riley Durham followed me. So, I started doing my own thing with clubs and stuff, you know, hit or miss or whatever. It was, you know, it was cool when I first started it, but, yeah. you know. Um, <clears throat> eventually, I moved away from that. You know, what I'm saying, moved away from the club scene and just start tapping into the music because I noticed that a lot of, a lot of people are doing music now. So, yeah. uh, you know, I just felt it was important for me to just stop promoting parties. You know, what I'm saying, and just kind of tap into the music and start embracing the the local scene and the underground scene. Man, you know, we kind of, I went from doing shows, man, where ten people show up to. Doing pop up shows now where 100 to 400 people show up, so you never know what you'll get now. But mm -hmm. my main thing is just giving underground artists the platform to you know, perform when nobody else will. You know, I will. So. Okay. So, um, how, how did you come up with the idea to you know start throwing uh, showcases and stuff like that? Because you don't really see too many people doing that <coughs> in North Carolina, in Raleigh, to me. Well, you know, <laughs> believe it or not. One of my dreams have always been to uh, get the North Carolina music scene more popping than what it already. I mean, we of course we got the the J Coles, you know, P D Pablo held us down, mm -hmm. King Mads about to hold us down, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I just felt it was a, it's a lot of underground talent and a lot of it's a lot of underground talent that people don't know about. And so um, I figured if I just bring those individuals together under one roof, I figured you know. Maybe it'll work. And I tested the waters the first time I ever did a showcase, and like I said, ten people that? showed up. The, that was the first showcase. That showcase, man. That was maybe 2015. That was at Bar 7, man. Shout out to the owner of Bar 7, man. He kind of just let me do it on some humbug. Like I said, ten people showed up, okay. and then from there, you know, we started doing showcases at Club Ego, uh, Rain. You know, I did showcases at. Uh, you know, just a lot of different places, man. And, you know, like I said, they over time they got better. Like, you know, just recently, you know, we're doing shows at Club Ego, and you know, we promoted for two days, and two, three hundred people show up, okay. seven o'clock. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's a blessing to just see people come together to do music, man. It ain't about you being better than this person or this artist being better than that artist. You know what I'm saying? It's just about bringing people together through music at the end of the day, us getting it done as a collective effort. So. Yeah. You know, it's a start. Okay, that's what it is. So, you know, um, since we're talking about this music stuff, and you know, you do party promotions and stuff like that, and pop up showcases. Which artists do you think is you know is popping right now as far as in the music scene, in okay. your opinion? I mean, I'm gonna just name a few. It's a lot of artists, but yeah, um, the artists that I rock with personally, that I think got the, all the potential in the world. Of course, you got uh, King Mez. Um, Bobby James. Um, okay. You got Nick News. He changed his name to Three AM now. You got you got him. Uh, Rome Jeter. Shout out Rome Jeter. My favorite right now, Pluto Music. A lot of people are sleeping on Pluto Music, but uh, Pluto Music. He got that Carolina record. I don't know if you heard it. I met a pretty girl from Carolina. Oh yeah. Okay. I didn't record, even know he was from. Yeah, yeah. That's that he from. Of course. Uh, yeah, he from Raleigh. He he's really uh, he got some hits. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I feel like he, he really a lot of it's a lot of hidden talent like him that's you know in the area. Just to name a few. It's a lot of it's a lot of dope cats though. That's crazy because I heard that song before, but yeah. I ain't know who who sang it. So yeah, Pluto um, music. Okay, so um, you know like what's what's one thing that you don't like about this industry, this music industry? What's one thing you could? Well. As far as the the local music industry, 
Yeah. Um, I just feel like, you know, as an underground artist, a lot of, like I said, man, I'm, I came up, you know, I started with Brian Dawson or whatever, but I just feel like, you know, once I merged into my own demographic of promoting, I just feel like uh, the main the main thing that I noticed is a lot of artists are unappreciative, man. Like, yeah. nobody else is going to give you the platform that I provide, and I don't, it's not that I'm, I provide this platform, man, barely making any money. It ain't about the money. It's about, like I said, bringing people together, you know, and a lot of artists just don't appreciate that, man. Like, it's it's sad because North Carolina scene is not even, we're not even half of where we need to be, you know what I'm saying? And people just, the main thing is people get greedy and the egos get in the way and people feel like they, they're entitled. I mean, really, you know, we got to just be humble, man. People talk about all this humble. And, you know, you don't really see it. You know, people just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It don't, that's the whole thing. Like, it don't matter. You can be hot. You can look like you got this image. I, I see it all the time, man. People put this image. People do it for Instagram. People do it for the internet. Like, yeah. that's, and that's a lot of the reason why I just stay to myself now. Because, you know, you hear a lot of this and you see a lot of this on Instagram. But in reality, it ain't reality. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't really... No, I stay in my lane for real. You talking about like people rapping about certain things and taking people, pictures people with a whole rapping, bunch of money. Making music about certain things, putting things on Instagram that's not real life. People talking about things that's not real life. Like it just, it all comes into into one. Whatever you, whatever your music is about, that's the type of person you want to portray to be. Obviously, yeah. you're not just gonna make music and just, you know, say you just making music. You rapping. Say you doing this or you selling this or whatever, that's what you that's the image you portray and you know, give or take, you know. It don't really be like that. That's the industry though. I feel like the whole industry is like WWF, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it's like the whole image. big soap opera, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's more annoying because it's, it's local now, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about local stuff. And we ain't talking about these people haven't even made it mainstream yet and we dealing with all this early, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like I said, so what's a common mistake rappers make to you? Well, not just rappers, but music artists. Yeah, uh, music artists. Freestyles. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's my opinion. A lot of people won't agree with this. I know freestyles are easy for people to do and put on the internet for their friends to enjoy, but a freestyle is not going to... I feel like this is my opinion. Like I said, I don't feel like a freestyle is going to help you get to the next level that you want to reach in your career. You can't get a freestyle cleared. You can give or take, but I mean, you're doing a freestyle, barely. There's somebody else already did the song, so no. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to get picked up on the radio. I mean, program directors are definitely not going to look at it. I mean, you probably could put it on SoundCloud and tweet it to your friends or whatever, put it in their DMs, but that's about it. I don't feel like that helps an artist grow at all by going off somebody else's record and trying to do a freestyle. I feel like your own creativity well, it'll put you on, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, talk to the people about the importance of networking, too. Because that's what your events is for, to pop up, you know, networking. And networking got me to where, where I am, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> it's funny because um, my family was invited to this event. This is 2013, like I said. It was a club open called Stir downtown Raleigh at the time. I had just turned, uh, matter of fact, I wasn't even 21 yet. I was 20 years old. And, uh, I was just in the club with some humbug, they let me in type thing, and uh, I met Brian Dawson in there. And, uh, you know, that's just me opening my mouth and, you know, speaking what up type thing, kind of open up doors. So that's why I just tell people all the time, you know, just open your mouth. You know, if you got something to say to anybody that you run across and, you know, the time is right, just open your mouth, you know what I'm saying? It's networking is everything. Even if it's just, hey, how you doing, I'm such and such, you know, networking is everything. And I feel like it's important, especially with music and Anything dealing with the industry and entertainment networking is everything, so. Okay. So how do you deal with, you know, because I feel like everybody not going to rock with you. Everybody not going to see the vision. <laughs> you know, they're not going to see what you, you know, what you can bring to the table. They're just looking at you for right now. So like, how, how do you deal with rejection? Man, at first it was hard because I came into the game. I was just telling my brother Wade, shout out DJ Wade Banner, man. Uh, I was just telling my bro, like, you know, I came into the industry thinking, like, yo, like, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm fresh, and you know, nobody really know me. I'm a, you know, meet everybody, be cool with everybody, and you know, we all gonna vibe out, and we all gonna just, you know, make it make sense. I thought that, you know, I was gonna be cool with everybody, but yeah. you know, once you, I ain't really, 
I ain't really did nothing too, too major, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I feel like I have done enough to get people attention and, you know, give or take, like I said, you know, a lot of people, they'll, they'll hear stories, they'll, they'll, you know, they won't come to the source, of course, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But they'll hear things, they'll say things, oh, he promoting this night, he doing this, you know, his nights pop, he, it don't pop, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, like other promoters in the city, like, you know, like I said, give and take, everybody ain't gonna rock with you, but the ones that do, you know, salute to them, but the ones that don't, man, whatever, they don't exist to me. And, you know, I don't really, I don't get into politics, and all of them, they know that. You know, I don't really gotta say too much about that. Okay. So, um, what's next for you, man? Are you throwing any, you know, um, showcases? Yeah, right now, some... man, uh, we less than a month away, we really like two weeks away. Um, we got the Hoop State Celebrity Basketball game that's going down at Reynolds Coliseum. Um, you know, it's gonna be dope. We got a lot of D League players, we got a lot of NBA players, we got a lot of overseas players coming to play. It's gonna be a pro am type game, and um, I think it's gonna be dope. Uh, that's really the only project I've been focused on right now. We but, gotta uh, collab on something, man. We definitely gotta collab, man. Um, mm, I'm trying to, I, I was thinking about doing a pop up show tomorrow, to be honest with you, but. Uh, you know, we just gotta we gotta make it make sense. But we definitely we're gonna do some more shows, man. I just kind of took a break because you know I just want to get my mind right and you know make sure I'm you know doing things correctly because you know, everybody they'll see me. <laughs> and I ain't, I ain't just a promoter. You know I'm an event planner promoter. You know I do a lot of things. I'm on Disney. I just gotta you know did a little skit with Disney. Oh, that's what's um, up, man. You know I'm doing commercials out of LA night. You know I'm just I'm trying to build my way up. I know you mentioned um, DJ Brian Dawson a lot in this interview. What's some free game that he gave you? Uh, I mean, the <clears throat> the main thing that Brian told me that stuck out to me was, uh, you know, take he he told us, man, everybody that was a part of BD Entertainment at the time, man, you know, we was deep at one at one point, and uh, you know, shout out to like I said, shout out to Brian, but um, the main thing he told me that stuck out to me was. You know, your followers are money. Uh, don't ever, don't get on the internet, man, and just make a fool of yourself and just take your followers to waste. Like, if people follow you, and if somebody follows you on the internet, that means they have some type of belief in you. So whatever you do, if somebody follows you, they'll invest into that. They'll invest into your idea. If you throw in a party, they'll show up to your party, you know what I'm saying? So that's the main thing that stuck out to me that Brian always told me is that, you know, people that follow you, they're interested in what you're doing, so don't take advantage of it, but take advantage of it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, that, that stuck with me, and I tell anybody else that, you know what I'm saying? Use your followers to your advantage, but don't abuse it, you know? Okay. So for the, for the people that's trying to find you, man, where can they follow you at? Hey, man, you can follow me on everything. Uh, Facebook kind of personal, but I'm going to still give it to y'all. Everything is Tony Ray 919, that's T-O-N-Y. R-A-Y-919, that's everything, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, everything, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, you want to um, give any shout-outs? <clears throat> uh, man, I got a shout-out, like I said, DJ Wade Banner, uh, shout-out Brian Dawson, okay. shout-out The Guy, shout-out Fusions TV, you know what I'm saying, uh, Good Energy, Carolina Nation, you know, we're doing some good things, so 